Finally got you. We lost you, but first off, uh, congratulations on getting on a, a UWW U, or U23 team, right? Um, what does the summer hold for you now besides, you know, I, I know you like to perform, mm. right? You rap, right? I do. You write music? I do. Okay. How, do you, how are you going to split the time now between training and winning a world title? Wrestling always comes first, and that's, that's always the way it's been. I mean, when I've had time to perform, I'll do it, and I'll still have time to make music, but I don't, I don't need to perform if I'm going to be training. That's just the way it's going to go. If I have the opportunities, yeah, I'll do it, but this is, this is the first part of it. So you drop the first match, and you come back and take the next two. How tough is it to do that? I mean, the first one, I was caught a little bit off guard. We didn't get any text. I was kind of, I just kind of ran to the mat cold. So I knew that I would have to make some adjustments in the next two, but it, it really wasn't all that tough. I just had to trust in my offense and trust that I was, I was prepared to wrestle the next two matches. So I, I had to go out there and, and do what I knew how to do as opposed to, you know, kind of being a little tentative out of myself going out cold. So got a little warmer and uh, it, it just wasn't too much more difficult from there. So you're kind of caught, caught off, off guard by how quick the final started? Well, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like necessarily how quick the final started so much as like the fact that we didn't have notification like the prior matches. So I was like sitting down before like they called me and then they were like, give town till Met 8 and I had to run over there. So um, in, in the next two matches, I came a lot earlier. It got a lot a lot more warm, but I just had no idea when I was going to be up relative to the other matches. So. Well, what's running through your head when you got a match of that magnitude and you're getting called for it and you're sitting in the stands. Well, I was trying to stay calm, trying not to think about it too much because, I mean, things like that will happen sometimes. If it happens at Worlds, I have to be ready for that. And I want to win a world title, so if, if they call me cold, I have to be ready to wrestle like a world champ regardless of what the circumstances are. So, so uh, you've got some Greco chops, too. What was, the, what was like your decision process for going freestyle and, and not doing Greco? Freestyle always kind of took precedence for me in the last couple of years. I haven't wrestled in a Greco tournament in the last two years, and so uh, the preparation for this tournament going in was I was planning to wrestle 55 kilos, and uh, once it started to get a little bit tougher, I figured I, I wouldn't want to strain myself in, in the Greco tournament and then have to go 57, so it was kind of like, am I going to go 60, then come down to 57, am I going to try and make 55, and then have to have to wrestle after having wrestled in the, in the World Team Trials in another style, so... Ultimately, the coaches and I just decided to move it. it was a better idea just to prepare for this tournament and make sure I had the best shot at making the most of it. With the foreigners, you know, you're gonna if you can pick them up and plan them, you know, like they're gonna try and slow you down. They're methodical. Mm -hmm. What's Gabe Tonso got to do to win a world title? To, to to get to legs and not let them slow you down and do what you do. Control the pace. Pick my spots. Um, I just need to look for the attacks that I want when I want them at the speed that I want them at and make sure that I'm still driving my feet through those attacks. Because honestly, they will be wily. They'll, they'll be a lot more crafty with the way they approach their offense and how they approach defense, and it'll be a different feel than I'm used to. But um, I just I think if I'm able to control the match, get to my ties, control the pace, it shouldn't be too much of an issue for me. All right, man. Hey, good luck. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Jesse.